All right, guys, so I use my 3D printer to print this. I don't know what you call it. Uh, to make a better fit and make the mask closer to the face. So it helps seal the, the corners, top to bottom, especially the nose area. Okay, so we'll test. So for emergency, if you don't have a mask, take it up. Let's just use this paper towel. So paper towel, paper towel mod. Put it up some in the nose. There's a gap. Pull it up nose area. There's still a gap. Okay, right, so. If you want, you can put a filter in between using the filtered filters. This is the MPR 1500. There's also the 1900 MPR, which is better. Okay. And also, I saw a picture using a bandana, but using this 3D printed device to hold it in place. Is it better? Yeah, just this is just using the paper towel. So like I said, don't get me wrong, the paper towel cannot do anything with the filtration. You have to add a filter element in between. Try a bandana. So instead of wrapping a bandana, pull it in. This 3D printed device will help hold it. So there are I think four sizes for this print. So this is the second I think. And there's another smaller one for the kids. And we mold it to her face using a heat gun. Let me see, let me see. There you go. Thanks for watching.